Here at Bob's Watches, we receive thousands of watches from all over the world, each with their own story and personality. But one thing is never certain, we never know what's in the box. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Watch in the Box. Today we got a shipment in from Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's check it out. All right, we get some paper. Got a Rolex box, looks like a newer model. All right, let's see what it is. <laughs> it's a cloth and a surprise. Oh, cool, it's a GMT. It's actually the anniversary GMT. This is a really cool watch. Let's check it out. Looks like there's no papers there. A couple hang tags and things. Pretty much just the watch and the box. What we have here is the Rolex GMT Master II with the reference number 116710. Personally, I love this watch. It has the ceramic bezel. This was the first time Rolex put a ceramic bezel on a stainless steel watch. I mean, it's just such an upgrade. It was really big jump from the previous model. This watch came out about 50 years after the original Rolex GMT. And it wasn't released as an anniversary edition, but within the watch community, it's kind of earned the nickname as the anniversary GMT. There's a lot of upgrades from this watch over the previous version of the GMT, which are really cool. So to start off, you'll notice the case. This is the first version with the new upgraded super case. It also has the upgraded bracelet and clasp, which are really great additions. Before this, the GMT has always had a brush bracelet all the way around. So the addition of polished center links is kind of a cool addition, and it's just a nice little touch of style on this watch. I really like it. This dial is really cool. Personally, I'm a fan of green, and I really like the subtle green text on the bottom of the dial, and also the green on the GMT hand. It's a great little touch of color without being really loud and really bright. Also, this version has the upgraded maxi dial, which has the bigger loom plots that are filled with the Super Luminova. It looks really great when it's dark. Those things shine really bright. The bezel is also a change on this watch. This is actually the first stainless steel sport watch to get the ceramic bezel upgrade, and it's all black, which is kind of cool. Uh, Rolex GMTs a lot of times have the two color bezel, either black and red or black and blue. And this one's all black, which is really sharp looking. Another really cool thing about this watch is this is the last GMT with the all black bezel. After Basel World this year, Rolex discontinued this watch. So it actually drove the price way up. This Rolex GMT, reference number 116710, with the green hand and the black bezel, will go for around $11,000. All right, let's see what this looks like on the wrist. Oh, but first, let's wrist check. Today, I'm wearing the Panerai Luminor GMT. You can see how this fits on my seven inch wrist. It feels really great. It's nice and comfortable. It's a 40 millimeter case. It fits pretty much like any of the other modern Rolex sport models. You notice how it looks in the light. This one has the polished center links and it also has the ceramic bezel, which are both upgrades from the previous model, that it really catches the light and it adds a little bit of luxury to the GMT. You may have noticed that this watch looks a little flashier than the previous version of the GMT. A couple reasons. First, I mentioned the polished bracelet catches light a lot differently and reflects a lot more than the previous bracelet. Also, it has a ceramic bezel upgrade. It's really shiny, really slick, really clean looking, and it catches the light way more than the aluminum bezel on the previous version. Those two features give it a little more luxurious look and feel, and it's a big difference from the previous models. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for stopping by and checking this watch out with us. And be sure to like and subscribe for the next Watch in the Box.